All right, it was requ requested of me to do another one of these videos of how to make golden beetles slash silver beetles as a new a new player or maybe a returning player or maybe you'll just learn some tips that you didn't know even though you've been playing Loudon for a while. So um, thank you for the person who requested to make this video. I forgot to mention a few other ways to make golden beetles so it's awesome to make another video and put it into that. Um, and I know another user on my original how to make GB slash SB as a noob, um, I believe his his username was Ace, I believe. He mentioned selling in monkey business, and this is actually a great strategy, uh, especially with lion skulls. Um, lion skulls are one of the items that sells for a lot on um, monkey business, so hell, I'll sell mine right right now. Um, it's a good it's a good way to make a few silver beetles. Um, thank you, Ace, for that, by the way. I totally forgot about it. <laughs> thank you. Um, so, I kind of went, got into this, but I didn't really explain it fully or properly, I guess, is during events and how to use an event to get what you want, uh, to get what you want, which is GB, right? Um, so whatever event it is, and if it's January for you, like, as I'm recording right now, it's January. Um, this event has an item called Lion Meat, and it's sold for 2,000 silver beetles, which is a really good price for Lion Meat, because Lion Meat can sell up to 5 GB. Sometimes I've, se I've seen it sell it for even more, which is crazy. Um, so I spent 200 silver beetles for one Lion Meat, and then what I'm going to do in a later month, I'm going to sell that Lion Meat for four or five golden beetles. So I'll make almost double profit, hopefully. And how I how I got these silver beetles was from following the tactics of the first videos video and um, the tactics I'm gonna tell you now. Um, I pretty much took 40 golden beetles and turned it into silver beetles before January started because the GB price tanked, yeah. Uh, 900 silver beetles is usually not the price of one golden beetle. Usually it's like 1,200-ish for one golden beetle. Um, so yeah, that's another thing to do. And if you don't know what your event offers, like of the month that you're in, you could go right here, right up top here. You could click this right here, the wiki, and you're on it. And then you could go to events and scroll down to the next event, which is February. And February is a great month to make... Um, golden beetles and I'll probably get into that in another video because February is my favorite event I love February um, so yeah so pretend that well um, that this is the month that you're in and you see an item like a buffy a buffy scrotum uh, which would sell for a lot probably like oh my gosh 30 golden beetles in later months right I believe don't quote me on that it's around it's around 30 golden beetles they sell for um, in later months Definitely not during February. I'm talking more around like December ish is when they sell for that price So if you see that oh my gosh this This buffalo scrotum I've seen it sell for X amount of golden beetles and it's in my next event um, Definitely buy some of them and then save them and then sell them later for more golden beetles profit All right, okay So let me get into the next topic. It's s most people like breeding muties um, just for fun and to see what their lions will give them but recently I've learned that breeding for muties can be profitable and that's if you have a pie or a patches king or if you, if you just breed to pie and patches kings I guess um, they tend to produce a lot of their mutation and I have a patches rift and if you look in the cubs that he's bred look patches rift patches 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 and all those patches were pretty much bred by me and then I went ahead and sold them between three to five golden beetles each um, works is a nice way to earn GB just by sitting there and finding the NCLs and just going like this boom that's a potential rift cub I'll actually I'm actually gonna mark this to see if it does give me a rift because I don't know, that'd be cool. <laughs> um, so, the last topic 
that I would like to bring up. Uh, actually, no, I have two other topics. Uh, thread shops. Um, some of you may not know of, of this if you're a noob, but you can go into the threads and people will have shops like this. Um, it's another way to make golden beetles. So whatever you don't need in your hoard, and for me it's decor, decoration items. I very, very rarely use them. So I will go and I pasted all the decoration items that I had. And then down here you could see that people are buying them, right? And my strategy for this decoration shop is I'll tell the person uh, how much it is worth in branches and then I'll lower the price. Um, so like, look, Essence of War, cheapest on branches at the time was 800 silver beetles. I sold it to them for 650. Um, you don't have to offer a discount like that, but usually selling a little bit lower than branches is a good idea if you want it to sell quickly. Um, I sold my Decker for pretty cheap just because I don't use it and I don't feel like waiting forever to sell them. <laughs> it was how I got actually my silver beetles to buy the lion meat from this event, um, which was kind of fun to do. Okay, now the last topic that I wanted to bring up was item flipping. Um, not a lot of people like item flipping. Some people see it as scummy and I, uh, I would say I don't blame you, but if a user's selling like something like, I don't know, let's say they're selling a lion meat, right? Let's say one of these lion meats is up in trades for a thousand silver beetles. Of course, I'm going to buy it for a thousand silver beetles because yo, that's so underpriced. And if I didn't buy it, then somebody else would have. Um, and then you could take that lion meat and flip it and sell it, uh, I guess, for three golden beetles later on if you really want to. And you could do that with pretty much with, um, I wouldn't want to say any item, um, because you might buy like a decoration item that you see that's, that somebody's selling it for a thousand, but in branches it's worth, uh, I don't know, 500 silver beetles. It might not sell because it's not really a high in demand item. Uh, hot items are usually, uh, well, hot as in high in demand, are usually applicators, like things like these, uh, or breeding items. Those are the ones that usually sell pretty quick. Um, so I only really recommend flipping with those items. And yeah, those are a few of my other tips on how to make golden beetles slash silver beetles. And I hoped it helped you out. Um, this is what I do most of the time. Um, well, it, it's what I'm doing right now to get my silver beetles and golden beetles is, um, doing my patches, my patches thing and my thread shop, which is currently closed because I don't really think I have that much decker left. Yeah, I only have three pages left. <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope this video helped and... If you would like to see more, again, let me know if you have a question of, if you have questions about anything on Loud End, like, uh, f for example, if you want to know what's the best way to get a Tygon, I can help you with that. If you want to know what's the best way to breed muties, or what does a Buffy, what does a Buffy ball do, what does a Lion Scrotum do, um, what does CRV stand for, um, which is cotton root bark, um. I'll make a video on it. Just ask me. I'll do it. <laughs> Alright. I'll catch you guys later. Have a good one.